Hello, this is Limp Digits, and these are the best new Android games for your Android thingy this week. First up, we've got Revolt Classic from WeGo Interactive, who are from Korea. Now, while they may be from Korea, the game itself is an original IP from Acclaim, if you remember that name. Now, the Korean guys have picked up that license and they've converted the original PC and Dreamcast and PSX game for your Android device, and it's awesome. It looks very pretty, but the real win is in the constant sense of pace and competition that you get every time you hit the track. There's lots of other remote control cars running around and they're all firing as much weaponry at you as you are at them. There is one caveat though, and that is that the free version of this game is basically a demo. It's very, very limited. If you want to unlock the full thing, it's going to cost you. Also, there's no multiplayer functionality at all, which seems like a real shame. Maybe we'll get that one day, but otherwise, this is a corker. <laughs> Start. Next up we've got Combo Crew from the Game Breakers who are in France and it's Ace! Actually it's not just Ace, it's awesome, brilliant Ace or it's a bunch of adjectives that I haven't got right now because it's that good. Imagine Streets of Rage or Final Fight if you're a bit of a retro guy and now picture that reversioned entirely for mobile devices. There's no D-pad or any control mechanism to get in the way, it's just you and your fingers doing badass combos on a multitude of enemies stage after stage. Plenty of unlocks to make sure that this isn't going to get samey. You can even play with your mates in a cute asynchronous sort of way. Overall though, don't take our word for it, go and get it, you'll see exactly what we mean. Whoa! This is Boomba from Radiation Burn. They're in uh, Middlesbrough in the UK and what they've brought us is a combination really of Angry Birds and Worms. You and a mate or you and the CPU can go toe to toe with your squads of little guys aiming physics based projectiles at each other of various different types and colours and the projectiles can really be quite odd. Um, but I won't tell you all about that because half the fun is in finding out exactly what effect they have. It's a very slick little game in single player but the real power of this thing is obviously going to be multiplayer. Now the game is so new that there's not that many people out there playing it yet but that shouldn't be a problem for too long because it's cross platform so I can even play people on rubbish old iPhones if I want. So go and pick it up, you'll love it and then come and find me because my whooping is nothing without yo ass. And rounding out our collection of the best games we've seen since, well, last week, is Tetris Blitz from EA. EA need no introduction, but then neither should Tetris, except actually, this is quite a different beast. This is Tetris on speed. Literally, you've got two minute rounds and a whole host of different power-ups, which, by the way, you can buy, that change the whole nature of Tetris as a game. It's fast, it's frenetic, it's brilliantly, brilliantly well presented, and above all, it's fun. Especially in those moments where you find yourself sitting around on a train or a bus or waiting for the missus or whatever you're doing and you need to fill five minutes of time. It's a bit like Bejeweled or one of those games that you uh, you would never normally admit to playing, but actually, secretly, you know you play them more than any other game. And mark my words, you're going to put hours into this one. That concludes our roundup of the best new Android games over the last few days. If none of that floated your boat though, go and check out last week's by clicking on the silly fake screen thing there. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for more of the same. Ta-da!